welcome back to another episode of Freedom Homestead. I am Tangi, and today I want to share with you something that my family has been enjoying. Enjoying? <laughs> something that my family has been enjoying, which is DIY hot cocoa mix. Um, I mentioned it in one of my grocery hauls that I had gotten some brown sugar to make more hot cocoa mix and someone asked if I could do a video on how we do this and I thought that was a great idea because you know it's cold weather which a lot of people like hot chocolate during cold weather and also it makes a really great Christmas gift for your teachers, Sunday school teachers. If you'll join me in the kitchen I'm going to show you how we make our DIY hot cocoa mix. Here we go. So some of the things you'll need will be a mesh sifter, you'll need a large bowl, a whisk, and I like using a canning funnel to put my finished product in my storage container. For your ingredients, you will need white granulated sugar, you will need light brown sugar, you will need a good cocoa. This cocoa came to me all the way from the Netherlands. Thank you so much, Sonia. And lastly, you need a good salt. I'm going to be using pink Himalayan salt, but this is a fantastic opportunity to work in a good mineral salt into your diet. Sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, gray salt, whatever good salt you have on hand is what you'll want to use. Today I'm just making half a batch, so I'm going to use one and a half cups of white sugar, one packed cup of light brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of your salt, and now we're going to go ahead and give this a good whisk. Okay, now it is time to add your cocoa and you're going to need one and a half cups. And I like to push this through a sifter just to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and that there are no lumps. And now we're going to whisk until it's all combined. Once it's all combined, it's time to put it in your storage container and you wanna use something airtight. I got this at TJ Maxx and I got this chalkboard label at Dollar Tree. It's not sticking on very well, but I also used a white paint marker to label it and I also added one heaping scoop per serving. The scoop that I use is a two tablespoon scoop and I just kind of stick it on the back of the jar and it works great. So this is what it looks like. This would make an awesome gift, but we just keep it around the house because the kids stay out of my coffee when there's hot chocolate mix on hand. So Parker is getting ready to make his first cup, but I wanted to show you really quick how you do this if you do it in the microwave, but you just take your cup, fill it about an inch from the top with milk. Um, and it's also really good in coffee too, by the way, if you wanna do like a mocha. Um, and then you're gonna heat up your milk first, but you wanna leave about an inch from the top so that way you have plenty of stirring room and you don't slosh it everywhere. So you heat the milk up first, you put a couple of, or you put one big scoop of uh, your hot mix in there, hot chocolate mix in there, and then stir it up and enjoy. Um, you can go ahead and do your thing now. And um, a couple of ways that you can, and 
a couple of different ways that you can enjoy this is with a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper in it for a spicy hot chocolate um, and also a little pinch of sea salt per uh, in each mug is also really good um, you can add uh, mint candy cane or whatever however you enjoy your hot chocolate so be sure to give this a try for your family or as a gift and that's all I've got for you guys today please join us next time when we share with you our life our love of liberty and our pursuit of bacon or chocolate whichever bye y'all Hey guys, if you haven't already hit that like button, go ahead and do that. Be sure to share this recipe with your friends and your family. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. We'd love to have you hang out with us. Merry Christmas.